What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we are here to do a Cameron Reddish Atlanta Hawks rebuild, uh, but along with Cameron Reddish we'll be drafting somebody else, but I'm just going to tell this Cameron Reddish for the most part. Because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the 10th pick yet. You guys kind of were split. Not really split. Uh, Bull Bull won the majority of the votes, but uh, I did see some comments about Jackson Hayes. So, and there were some other prospects, but I'm probably either going to focus on Jackson Hayes or Bull Bull. Uh, maybe one of them will be drafted before I get to him, so that'll make my decision then. But if they're both available, I have to make a decision real quick. But Cameron Reddish uh, is what we're going to do today. If it, and if he does drop this far to the Atlanta Hawks, he may not. But uh, as you guys can tell, as I've kind of gone through these rebuilds, I've done somewhat my mock draft in a way. Uh, just how I think teams might draft. And I could be totally off. I think uh, maybe the top three is most predictable. And then after that, you're just not sure what's going to happen. It's just kind of up in the air. The Lakers could trade the pick. They may not trade the pick. It's just, uh, I would think they would just because of LeBron James' timeline and how old he is. But I don't know, man. Could be wrong. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the NBA draft. With that eighth pick overall, I do plan on selecting Cameron Reddish here if he's still available. And he still is. So Cameron Reddish, welcome to the Atlanta Hawks. And of course, Jackson Hayes and Bull Bull are still available. But let's go ahead and see if the Wizards take one of them, which they very well could. Let's see if they do. We get Cameron Reddish, though. Um, I think Cameron Reddish will be a very good addition to this team if he's able to drop that far. And then the Wizards take, hopefully, oh, we have a trade to announce. They trade the ninth pick for Mike Conley. Okay, interesting. So who are the Grizzlies going to take? I doubt, I mean, Louis King out of Oregon. Okay. All right, so we either got to choose between Bull Bull and Jackson Hayes. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I've gotten Bull Bull in rebuilds before. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take Jackson Hayes, actually. John Morant would be cool for that 10th pick, but I'm not going to do that. I think it's a little too unrealistic. So Jared Culver, uh, I'm going to go Bull Bull, I think. I think I'm going to go Bull Bull. Uh, actually, I meant, I said I think I'm going to go Jackson Hayes. 6'9 uh, out of Texas, 7'3. Uh, I think Bull Bull's injury might affect him quite a bit. So I'm going to go Jackson Hayes. I've gotten Bull Bull in previous rebuilds. A lot of you guys voted for uh, Jackson Hayes or Bull Bull, but I am sorry. I'm just going to try to mix it up here. And uh, even though you guys voted for Bull Bull, maybe I should have listened. But we got Mat Matisse last video. Uh, Adam Jalen McDaniels. We got, uh, I actually think I'm going to take Jalen McDaniels here with the second pick overall. And let's keep drafting here because I think the Hawks have like three second rounders. Uh, he's still here as well, so we'll take him. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and just let the other, com or let the computer draft the other person. So uh, I think a pretty decent draft so far. The eighth pick, we got Reddish. We got Jackson Hayes. So Bobo obviously would have been nice as well, but he drops all the way to the Hornets, which I think is where Bobo would either go, either to the Hornets or the Heat. I could see him going. Uh, but let's go for the rookie signing. Cameron Reddish, Jackson Hayes, Gail McDaniels, Matisse Stylub. They want to take this. I'm going to take my second round picks, but I don't think I'm going to take him. So I think we'll be good there. Player options, John Collins, Kareem Prince, Cam Bazemore, DeAndre Bembry, and uh, Jalen Adams. Uh, we're going to go ahead and probably just let them go. Deontay Davis, 22 years old. I'll bring him back. Isaac Humphreys, I have no idea who that is. So I'm going to let him go as well. Uh, Justin Anderson, I don't think I'm going to bring him back either. Although we could, but I'm probably not going to. $18.14 million in cap. You can. Uh, Deadman, I think, is better off going to a win-now team. He's 29 years old, and this team is still in the rebuild process. So I'm going to say Deadman probably is looking to maybe get paid somewhere else. But we have Miles Plumlee and Kip Bazemore under terrible contracts. When you look at the roster, obviously Trey Young is a big part of this Atlanta Hawks team. Reddish and Herter. I think I'm going to move Reddish to the small forward just because he is tall and he could play that small forward spot. He's going to play that wing. And we have Tareen Prince, who uh, the Hawks have been rumored to uh, been uh, trying to look to trade him. So I'm probably going to do that here. And John Collins and Amari Spellman, Jalen McDaniels, um, Alex Lynn and Jackson Hayes. So I think Jackson Hayes and Alex Lynn can run the center spot this year. And Miles Plumlee will walk after the season. Kim Bazemore will walk after the season. But Tareen Prince, I think, is someone I would look to trade real quick. I don't know what I want for Tareen Prince, but if I could get, like, just a first-round pick for him or something like that, I think I'd be good. So uh, I'm just doing Tareen Prince here just because it has been a rumor in real life that the Hawks have been looking to trade him. That is a glitch. We don't have the 10th pick anymore, so let's go back out of that. And now we can trade this uh, Tareen Prince and hopefully get, uh, you know, a decent value for him. So we got James Ennis and Jonah Bolden. That's not a very good trade. Tony Snell, don't like that either. A top 10 protected pick from the Chicago Bulls and we get TLC. That actually is looking somewhat realistic there. I might come back to that. Uh, another realistic trade, I think 2020 first round pick, top 10 protected. I think this Hassan Whiteside, 30 years old. Um, 
but we'd have to trade a first round pick if we didn't have to trade a first round pick i might do this trade but uh just because we have to trade a first round pick i'm not going to so uh malik monk got him in the last video so i probably won't do that by alitza frank nilakina and mitchell robinson if mitchell robinson wasn't in this trade i could probably back mitchell robinson out of it and we could get frank nilakina but uh, I'm not going to do this. I don't know if it makes a lot of sense for the Knicks to get Tareen Prince when they're trying to build three free agency anyway. So uh, a first round pick from the Suns. They give me Tyler Johnson for the season. Um, 2023, we'll never get to that pick in this video though. So I'm trying to get something I could use. Even Adams, 25 years old. Um, yeah, but we got Jackson Hayes. So I don't know if I want to do that. Damian Jones. So I think I'm going to go with one of these first round picks. I think I'm going to go with this Clippers trade. A 2020 first round top 10 protected pick. They get Rodney McGruder. So we get a first round pick for him. I'm cool with that. We'll roll with that. So uh, welcome to the team, Rodney McGruder, and that 2020 first round pick from the Clippers. So I like that quite a bit. Now we have three first round picks from our three first round picks next year, which is awesome. So now, uh, who did the Cavaliers draft? Because that's going to make a big difference with that. Uh, they took this year little so maybe they'll be a lottery team next year i'll probably just bank on it hopefully they are but when we look at the roster we have 41 million dollars this is not a team that i expect to be that aggressive in free agency though i'm not sure if i will be or not i think i like my starting five with like kevin herter trey young reddish amari spellman john collins uh, i think we definitely need a backup power forward though most likely so let me try to get that let me definitely try to make this team a little bit better off the bench and stuff Jabari parker Actually, I wouldn't mind him off the bench for a couple of seasons. He is 24 years old. I uh, actually wouldn't mind that. He wants $18 million a year, though. That actually is somewhat terrible. So I'm going to give him another contract like he got last year. A two-year with a team option. I think that's what I'll do. Him off the bench wouldn't be too bad at all. Small forwards, uh, we can go with... Uh, let's see what else we got for small forwards off the bench. Ariza, Joe, Iso Joe. Bring Iso Joe back to Atlanta. Let him retire. You know what? I want Joe Johnson retired Atlanta Hawks. So we're going to do that. And then let's go who else. But as far as someone who's actually going to play. Uh, Bojan McDonavich off the bench would be cool. But I don't think I'm going to go with him. Mark Carroll, Carmelo. We know Carmelo was a legend for the Atlanta Hawks. But I probably won't bring him back. Uh, Lance Stevenson. Birkin Korkmaz. Uh, definitely fits the timeline of the team. Nick Stauskas. Jared Temple. Uh, Mario Hazonia. Stanley Johnson. <laughs> Dylan Johnson, man. Just, I don't know. I don't know about him. Royce O'Neal, 26 years old. Uh, I could see myself maybe having him for on for a season or two. And then shooting guard spots, find a backup point guard. Jeremy Lane was there already, so I don't think I want to bring him back. Beverly, Rubio, Alfred Payton, Tim McConnell. On right. Isaiah Thomas. Actually, I kind of like the idea of Isaiah Thomas maybe being somewhat of a mentor to Trey Young, but not really. But does he really need that veteran? I mean, just... To mentor Trey Young for the season actually wouldn't be too bad at all. Um, I don't know, man. I kind of like the idea of that, but at the same time, I'm not sure. Uh, Austin Rivers, 26 years old. Delon Wright. I think I'm going to sign Isaiah Thomas just for the hell of it. You know why? Why not? So let's sign Isaiah Thomas. Give him some uh, mentorship to uh, Trey Young. Let's get Kevin Durant as well. Just kidding. We probably can't. So now we'll look at the roster. Isaiah Thomas, Trey Young. Uh, Kevin, Kent Bazemore, Kevin Herter. Got Cameron Reddish, Joe Johnson, and Russell Neal now. Power forward spots fine and the center spots fine. So I'll probably have Isaiah Thomas mentor Trey Young. I don't know. Uh, he has 20 badges, so I think that should be good. And then uh, definitely something like that should look cool. $13 million. We're going to have more cap space next year. So we're going to see how this team does. We're just going to focus on this developmental year. Just kind of want to see this team progress. Obviously, John Collins and uh, Trey Young are a big part of what we're going to do for the future. Jabari Parker is still really young, and I could see Atlanta just taking a flyer on him. That's why I brought him here some people hate it when i signed jabari parker but i mean he's gonna get a chance somewhere eventually so i like this starting five as far as youth movement goes this starting five could be dangerous one day trey young kevin herter cameron rush john collins i do like it i like it a lot so let's load that 2020 draft class hopefully we bank on the clippers not making it in the top 10 and the cavaliers being a lotter pick that would be awesome but let's go ahead we have one tap to untap potential for a young team we definitely need to get more because uh, we're definitely a young team, so I'm going to give Kevin Herzer an A- minus potential, and then uh, I don't even know what that said, but I just skipped over it. Here's the 9-man rotation, actually 10-man rotation. We got Trey Young, Kim Bazemore, Cameron Reddish, John Collins, J Alex Lynn, Jabari Parker off the bench, Isaiah Thomas off the bench, uh, Jackson Hayes, Kevin Herzer. I do like this a lot, but actually I think I'm going to start Jackson Hayes over Alex Lynn, and I'm going to start Kevin Herzer 
over Kim Bazemore. So that should look good. Then we can go ahead and give this guy 16 minutes and give this guy 20 minutes. I'm actually going to take their minutes even more. I'm going to do that. Let's give Kevin Herter about 29. Let's give Jackson Hayes about 30. We'll do that. So I think that's going to look good. So Trey Young, Kevin Herter, Cameron Red. I actually want Cameron Reddish getting a lot more minutes than he has. Jabari Parker, I don't need him getting like 28 minutes. That's a little ridiculous. Kevin Reddish, let's get him to about 30. Uh, let's take some. I want John Collins getting more minutes as well, though. So take some minutes from the bench here a little bit. Uh, let's give uh, Cameron Reddish about 32. And let's give John Collins about 35. So we'll roll with that. This is proficiency. Let's look at what it's looking like. We got a three star rating with the unta or the balance system. Seven seconds goes up to three and a half. So I'll go ahead and change it to seven seconds. But I'm going to simulate this full season. Let's see how this Atlanta Hawks team does. So whopping 41 and 41 record, we actually end up making the playoffs, which is nice. Unfortunately, Cleveland made it as well. And the Clippers did not. So that's not a good sign. So we might end up losing out on that Clippers pick. Let's see where they're at in the standings. I really don't want to lose out on it, but we'll see. Hopefully they were like right outside the playoffs. And uh, probably a 50-50 chance we get it. We're probably not going to get that 10th pick, which is very unfortunate. But nonetheless, we are facing the Boston Celtics here. So let's see what we got as far as player stats are concerned. 21 points from Trey Young. About 14 from uh, John Collins and 14 and 12. And then we had 14 from Jabari Parker off the bench, which isn't too bad at all. Uh, not too bad. And then we have uh, Cameron Reddish with about 14. Isaiah Thomas had about 13 off the bench. Jackson Hayes with 12 and 7 and a 2.5 blocks. Which is nice. Kevin Herter, 11. And uh, Amari Spellman and um, Joe McDaniels. I actually forgot to send them to the G League. G League is something I do like to use, but I kind of did it halfway through the season, so they probably didn't develop as much as they could have. But we're down 2-1 to the Boston Celtics. The fact that we're getting playoff experience now for this young core, though, is probably nice. Uh, we're going to push the Boston Celtics to seven games, guys. So that's actually really nice. Let's go ahead and see if we could potentially upset the Celtics here. That would be absolutely insane if we could, though. And it looks like it's not going to happen 105 to 124. The fact that we pushed the Celtics to seven games, though, is very nice going forward. So I do like that a lot. I probably end up declining Jabari Parker's team option, although he had a pretty good season with us. I, I still just don't think I want to pay him $18 million again, especially when this free agency coming up. Probably going to get a little bit more aggressive here. So we got Cleveland making it all the way to the NBA or Eastern Conference Finals and to the NBA Finals. And we got Cleveland and OKC. And we got the OKC Thunder winning in five games. Uh, speaking of, how about them all NBA teams? Not too bad. The only play, only people I saw really complaining about who got snubbed was Bradley Beal. Um, other than that, I mean... Every year, someone's going to get left out. It's unfortunate. Just like Damian Lowers was left out out of the All-Star games quite a bit. Just what it, it is what it is. Klay Thompson wasn't very happy. And I understand that affects his contract because Klay Thompson could have been eligible for a max, I think. But now that he's not a, um, what do you call it, lottery? Now that, not a lottery pick. Now he's not an All-NBA player. He doesn't get it. So uh, the Clippers are projected the ninth pick, hoping they don't get it. So let's see. Let's hope and pray. Uh, it ends up being 10 so they actually keep their pick and we have the 16th pick and the 18th pick so I guess that's all right so that's unfortunate we don't get uh, that pick uh, but trainer I'm going to fire my trainer because he's not very good and I'm gonna hire Glenn Howard our head coach Lloyd Pierce um I'm kind of I think I actually might fire Lloyd Pierce just get the best potential out of this team I know Lloyd Pierce is probably a decent head coach in real life but uh, I can't sign both. So that's unfortunate. Uh, defense is not probably something this. Okay, what if, can we get him now? We do get Michael Stauffer now, head scout. I'll probably just leave everything else to the computer. But for the NBA draft, we have the 16th pick and the 18th pick. I'm curious if I could potentially move up in the draft. That's like my ideal situation right now. Or even maybe even trade these two picks for a decent player i don't know if there's anyone worthy of two first rounders though um zubach jordan bell karooks chris wilkes austin rivers bobby Portis, robert kevin yeah there's really no one that sticks out to me so i'm gonna go ahead and try to actually flip these two picks for a higher pick so let's see if we can get that i'm gonna try to move up to like maybe seven or three could we move to like all the way up to number three i doubt it yeah, probably not. I'm not going to try to trade any more than what we have. So let's try to trade six pick. Okay, nope. They don't want to do the six pick. How about 
the eighth pick let's go for the eighth pick potentially from the kings let's see if they'll do this no okay the ninth pick can we go with the ninth pick just move up in that draft get top 10 pick um let's see the ninth pick we could get the bulls hopefully they don't take it uh maybe i shouldn't maybe the fact that or i could try to trade i don't know. actually you know what guys you know what we'll do we'll just draft two decent players here i guess i tried to move up it didn't work so 16 pick and the 18 pick vernon carey jr i'm actually cool with him out of duke and let's go with another player at the 18 spot and we get uh samuel williamson or we could go with like um actually no not that. that's not what i want let's go back up isaiah mobley josh green Trey Jones, Tyrese Maxey, Wiggins, Ashton Hagens. Uh, I think I might take Ashton. No. Let's go with Cassius Stanley out of Duke. Let's go with Cassius Stanley out of Duke. Go ahead and take him. Send to the end here. And I'll let the computer draft the rest. So we got Cassius Stanley and Vernon Carey Jr. Not too shabby. Jabari Parker, I'm going to go ahead and decline that team option. Like I said, I was going to. Qualifying offers, Deontay Davis. Probably won't make it a big priority to bring him back. And then for the salary cap table, $7.92 million. Ken Bazemore, goodbye. Jabari Parker, goodbye. Alex Lynn, goodbye. And probably the rest of these players, goodbye. So, uh, did we... Why is he... Waved? Guys, I promise I didn't wave him. I don't know what the... I honestly think the computer's been doing stuff behind my back. Because every time because last video alonzo ball was already like a free agent in like his third season on his rookie contract and i didn't understand why but something is going on here guys and i don't like it but i'll get to the bottom of it but when we look at the roster we still have isaiah thomas kevin Herter, still that shooting guard we got cameron reddish now uh omari spellman john collins and vernon carey jr so um really i'm gonna just try to get the best available player out here potentially uh probably not a lot of good free agents that'll fit the mold of the team right now Jamal Murray. We could get Buddy Heald and start him at the shooting guard, which I do actually like the idea of that. Maybe even Jalen Brown if he didn't want so much damn money. $31 million. That's ridiculous. So uh, we could probably pry Jalen Brown away, but is he worth that much money? Uh, that's the question. So we could get Buddy Heald easily, but I feel like I get Buddy Heald quite a bit. Jalen Brown could be different, but like I said, that money, that amount of money is so ridiculous. I would be comfortable paying him 25 mil a year though um so if the hawk celtics decide not to match that i'll definitely give buddy Hield an offer too though because why not i'll give him a four-year deal 65 million we'll go with that dylan brown accepts his other offer he goes back to the celtics so i guess we get buddy Hield. i'm not complaining so buddy Hield, welcome to the atlanta hawks kevin Herter will probably just come off the bench for you so um now we can get some bonus or mantras Harrell probably off the bench which actually wouldn't be too bad at all we have 54 million dollars still to spend and as a team that doesn't get attract a lot of free agents, I definitely should take advantage of this money now. Um, Vernon Carey Jr., I could probably sign a legit center. Maybe Sabonis, Mef Hem come off the bench for us. 24 years old. Kind of like the idea of that. Montrose Hero wouldn't be too bad. I'm going to go ahead and give Sabonis a deal as well. Why not? So let's see if Sabonis accepts my offer. And he does, and he doesn't get matched. Brandon Ingram, I could probably bring Brandon Ingram here too. But I do like Cameron Reddish still starting, so I'll probably just leave it. But I think we'll be good here. I think it's good. Um, we'll go ahead and leave it uh, at the rest. Leave the rest. Could probably sign Fred Van Vliet as well, 26 years old. If I wanted to move on from um, Isaiah Thomas, I could do Shabazz Napier even. I'm going to go ahead and sign Shabazz Napier to a one-year deal. Go ahead and do that. Might end up trading Isaiah Thomas here. But let's see if he could. Let's see what Isaiah Thomas could get us. I don't know if I want to keep him here. So, uh, one year deal left for Isaiah Thomas, 31 years old. Not too bad of a contract. We could get Ennis Cantor and Beverly. Uh, Evan Fournier, a first round pick. I don't know if any team would offer a first rounder for Isaiah Thomas nowadays. We could get Muhammad Bamba. That's ridiculous. 2K Trade Finder is so crazy sometimes. Josh Jackson, DJ McConnell. You know what? Uh, I think I'll just leave him on here. So, uh, maybe Shabazz Napier won't get any minutes, whatever. So, uh, it's for the depth of things. So when you look at the player progression, we have Trey Young going up to an 87 overall. John Collins is an 86. Buddy Heald is an 84. Not looking too shabby. Really like this roster. Really like where it's going. So uh, definitely excited for the future of things here in Atlanta. We made the playoffs last year, and our roster has only gotten better. I don't know if they're going to start Sabonis. I would rather just start Jackson Hayes. I do like Sabonis off the bench. 
Buddy Heald will probably start, and then Kevin Herter will probably hit the bench. Um, but it looks like they're going to start at Sabonis, so I don't know, man. I might leave him there. I'm not sure yet. So let's load a 2021 draft class. I'll go ahead and show you guys this rotation again. We have three untapped potentials to give out, so let's go ahead and see if we can hand out some untapped potentials and make players better. I'm going to give Jackson Hayes some untapped potential. Who else we got? Amari Spellman's down there with the B. We got Vernon Carey Jr. down here. Cassius Stanley. So we have quite a bit we could do. I'm going to go ahead and give um, Amari Spellman. No, yeah, Amari Spellman. Give him some unta untapped potential. And now let's look at this nine-man rotation we're going to have. And they do want to start Jackson Hayes, which I like that a lot. So 11-man rotation. I don't need that. Trey Young, Buddy Heald, Cameron Reddish, John Collins, Jackson Hayes, Sabonis, Kevin Herter, Shabazz Napier, and Isaiah Thomas. Um actually going to go ahead and let uh, Isaiah Thomas hit the bench. And we'll go ahead and have Amari Spellman. And I'm sending Vernon Carey Jr., Jaden, one of these th two of these three players to the G League, I think. Just for insurance next year if we do need a better bench. So let's go ahead and sign Vernon Carey Jr. there. And Stanley, who's our small forward, backup small forward next year? Uh, and because we already have a good backup power forward, I think. So I don't think we need to send um, McDaniels there necessarily. Stanley, our backup small forward next year, we probably don't even have one. We don't. So I'll go ahead and send him there as well. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate another season. Let's see how this team does. So at the end of the season, we are the third seed going 50 and 32. Not too bad at all. Here are your player stats. We still have Trey Young leading the way with 23 points per game. Buddy Hill had about 16, and Cameron Radish had about 13 points. So, looking pretty good. I really like how this team is uh, shaping up to be. Jackson Hayes and John Collins seem like a force down low. And uh, Sabonis coming off the bench probably just solidifies that even more. But, let's go ahead and see if we can get far in these playoffs facing the Cleveland Cavaliers in the first round. Who ended up making it to the NBA Finals last year, so let's see if we can knock them out. But, uh, we go up to one on them. We're up 3-1. And the fact that we beat the Eastern Conference champions is a pretty good sign from last year. You know what I mean? But uh, we're facing the Brooklyn Nets now uh, who won one more game than us. So let's see if we can take it from them. They're up 1-0, 2-1. We go up 3-1, 3-1. Can we please move on in five games? Like that would be so awesome. We move on in six games and we're facing the Philadelphia 76ers. Who do the Nets even have? Like uh, they had D'Lo, Julius Randle, which I like that fit a lot, guys. Julius Randle and D'Lo, I love that fit a lot. I think it would be very nice if the Nets can't land like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and which they've been kind of connected to. Even Tobias Harris would be a decent fit, too. Or facing the Sixers, let's go ahead and see if we can beat them. They're up 1-0 to start. 2-0. Can we please not go down 3-0? And, of course, we do. So, uh, let's see if we can go ahead and definitely maybe come down from a 3-0 deficit. It'd be kind of hard here, but you know what? We can try. So, and uh, we blew it at the end. So we get swept in the Eastern Conference Finals by the 76ers. I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot. I think I like the team. We went 50 and 32. Trey Young, John Collins, and all of them are going to get. Kevin Durant went to the Jazz. That ain't ever happening. That ain't ever happening. But I don't think I'm going to do a whole lot. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and sim one another year. And uh, we'll. Oh, we have the fifth pick from the Hawks or from the Clippers. And the 24th pick. So, uh, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see what we can... Okay, I guess I better show you guys what I'm going to do this offseason. Because the fact they have the 5th pick now changes a lot. So, the 5th pick... I don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing. So, the 5th pick overall. Um, let's see what kind of offers we get for the 5th pick. Lou Williams, Hassan Whiteside, Manuel Moutier, Kim Birch, Aaron Gordon, Tareen Prince, Jamal Murray... And this cancer, I don't even know what I want to do with the pick. I got Blake Griffin in the Suns video, and he just didn't really help us out at all. And we already have John Collins. DeRozan, I think this is just way too much that I know what to do with. Because I don't think I even need this pick right now. Um, but if we could definitely trade it for a future ass. Why does it say Lou Williams is on a... He probably retired. And I'm not getting Dragon Benders. You know what? We might as well draft somebody here for the future. So let's do it. Uh, for the fifth pick overall... Scotty Barnes, Isaiah Jackson, Josh Christopher. Um, Scotty Barnes from Oregon, 6'9". I think I guess I'll take him out of, out of Oregon. Hopefully he's pretty good. Too much to the end here. And uh, definitely would like to like to have traded that pick. But, you know, it is what it is. We got Watson later. We're going to go ahead and bring all these guys back. Qualifying offers. that We're definitely going to be looking to bring John Collins back. And that guy as well. So I'm going to go ahead and simulate just another year. 
and uh, hopefully this team comes back and we can make it to the finals. So we end up with the same record as last year, but this time we're the first seed in the Eastern Conference. So let's go ahead and see if uh, the player stats are any different. We have 24 from Trey Young, about 17 from uh, Buddy Heald. Kevin Herter at about 12. Vernon Carey Jr. with about 12. Cameron Reddish with about 11.8. And yeah, here are the stats. So we definitely had quite a bit of depth. Hopefully these playoffs can lead us all the way to the promised land and winning a championship here with the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, we're up one uh oh on the brooklyn nets and then they go up 2-1 on us 3-1 and if we actually get eliminated in the first round i'll be somewhat upset 3-3 please beat them and we come back down from 3-1 now we're facing the philadelphia 76ers who swept us last year but we win two games this time uh 2-1 for them 2-2 please don't lose please don't lose they're up 3-2 and 3-3 please win okay we win in seven games facing the boston celtics we pushed them to seven the first season of this video now we're up 2-1 on them they might push us to seven this time. We're up 3-1, 3-2, 3-3. What did I say? And we won every series in seven games. So let's see if we can win the championship here now. Let's complete the process. They're up 2-1 on us, 3-1, and we're down 3-1, unfortunately. So let's see if we can come back from this series. 3-1 deficit. Let's see if the Rockets can blow a 3-1 lead. And it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They're absolutely going to blow us out here. But thank you guys so much for watching. We got really close. We lost in five in the finals. I think you guys, this Crush Bulls, and I'm saying.